Okay, in this video I'm going to take apart a thermostat for a hot water heater and show you exactly how these work. Now this video will come in very handy if you're having a problem with your hot water heater and you've already seen my electric hot water heater repair video. This will help you have a much better understanding of how the thermostat actually works. Now as you can see here, this thermostat is a lower thermostat. There's only two connections. The power wire would flow into one screw, and then from the other screw would go into the heating element, and then the other screw on the heating element would complete the circuit with the other 120 volt leg. The only difference between the lower and the upper thermostat is the upper thermostat has a screw right over here, and the reason for that is because it's a normally open and normally closed thermostat. This is the common screw right here where power would feed in and then this would be switching between this one going on, that one going on, this one going on, and that one going on. So it alternates back and forth. So internally, there is a mechanism in here which closes this connection and that while it opens that one, and then when this one is closed, it opens this one. So let's take a look at the inside, how it works. Let's remove the back plate. Now the first thing you're going to see is this disc and then there's this metal plate. Let's pop out the disc. Now what this is, is nothing more than a bi-metal disc. It's made up of two dissimilar metals that are bonded together as one. And it's slightly cupped. This side is slightly in. You can see it right there. This side is more domed out. And what's going to happen as heat is applied to this disc, each metal is going to expand and contract differently. So this metal on this side might not expand as much as the metal on this side. So it happens when this one expands more and this one doesn't expand as much, the disc will pop in the other direction, pushing it outward. Now what determines the temperature setting is very simple. You have this plate, all right? Right there's the screw. And what happens, this plate right now is back in position. So how the temperature adjusting works is very simple. If you look at this right now, it's laying very flat, all right? It's pretty much flush with this little black piece of plastic that's sticking up. When you rotate the thermostat clockwise to make it hotter, now this one is hotter on the left, some are hotter on the right, whichever way it works doesn't make a difference to how this actually works because they all work the same. When I turn this clockwise to make the water hotter, what it's doing, it's pushing this plate outward. You see right there it's sticking out now? This is way out of position now, sticking out. And the reason why it's pushing outward is to prevent the disc from wanting to pop in with heat. So by pushing this more outward, you're increasing the temperature that it's going to take to get this metal disc to flex in the opposite direction to counteract the force from this plate here pushing towards the back of the disc. That makes the temperature much higher in order to get it to go pop like that. So when you make it lower, you turn it back this way. As you can see now, I could just lay the plate right there. That's the lowest setting. It goes in and out very easy. You don't have the pressure of this plate pushing on the back side of the disc. Now you're going to notice this little black piece of plastic sticking up. It goes up and down. It feels spring-loaded. This is actually a faulty thermostat. Now when a thermostat is working properly, and the water temperature hasn't gotten hot enough to pop the disc in. Now internally these two screws have a connection that comes down with contact points just like a relay. All right. So normally these are together. When the water gets hot enough what happens it opens up this connection internally and then you have an open circuit preventing power from reaching your heating element. That's what the purpose is of this little black piece of plastic sticking up. It's spring-loaded, and when you push down on it, what it does, 
it opens the connection between these two contacts. Now if this was the upper thermostat when you push down on this, if these two were connected together, what would happen when you push down is this one would no longer be connected to this screw, but this screw here would be connected to that screw. So it reverses. That's how you go from normally open to normally closed. And that, in a nutshell, is exactly how these work. It doesn't get simpler than that. Hopefully you now have a very good understanding of how the water heater thermostats operate. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs.